Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's Jimmy Grapponi here with Realty One Group Revolution, back with another featured home of the day. So let's get right into it. We'll pull up this beautiful, beautiful home that we're going to take a look at here. We can get you on that right screen here. There we go. Whoa, check it out. All right, so we're taking a look at 11015 King George Lane, Waxhaw, North Carolina. 28173. I'm looking at this for the first time uh, with you. It's a new listing. They've got a virtual tour on here as well. Five beds, three baths, 3,236 square feet, single family home, and it's listed for $750,000. Now, I must disclose that I am not the listing agent on this property. The listing agent is actually Joe Higgins with Coldwell Banker Realty. So thanks, Joe, for bringing this house to the market. Now, even though I'm not the listing agent, I am um, eligible to represent you as your buyer's agent to help you purchase this or any other home. So if you're thinking about buying a home in Waxhaw, in Indian Land, in Fort Mill, in Matthews, anywhere around the Charlotte area, let me know. I would love to help you out with your property search. I also uh, work with home sellers as well. So let's take a look at this one. First off, I must say I'm very complimentary of not only the home, but also you can tell they use professional photography. And I can tell from these first few pictures that the home is uh, staged well and is going to present very well in these pictures. So let's open up. Let's go ahead and just open up the first big picture here. All right, there's the front of the house. Looks like a really large lot. It's a brick front home. Um, nice big rocking chair front porch. Man, look at this beautifully landscaped lawn. I love the lines. Whoever, whether that's a homeowner or a landscaper, whoever cut the grass did a really good job. Um, nice flat driveway. You see a basketball hoop out here. I'm gonna guess it's probably gonna be a three-car side load garage. We'll find out. It might be a two-car. All right, there's another good um picture from the road, front of the house. All right, as you come into the foyer, it looks like there's stairs going up to the left as you come into the home. There's a formal dining room. You see the chair rail and the wainscoting. Uh, has a tray ceiling with uh, crown molding in there too, I think. No, it might just be, okay, no crown molding in the tray. That's actually, um, that's just drywall and drywall. But there's crown molding here above the windows and a nice, pretty chandelier. I love these floors too. Really nice, beautiful floors. Okay, uh, ooh, this is the family room here. So and it looks like there's a screen porch back there. I can't wait to see that. All right, another picture of the of the family room. Ceiling fan, gotta love when a house already has ceiling fans installed. Here's the kitchen. Okay, these are gonna be Corian countertops. These are solid surface solid surface counters. Now, don't be discouraged if you're like, oh man, I gotta have quartz or granite counters, or I've gotta have white or gray cabinets. These are things that can be changed or added after the fact, after moving in, if you want to customize without having to do a whole renovation um, on the kitchen. So if that's your style, or this might be your style right here, you might like the brown cabinets and the Corian counters. I will say that you know, Corian counters are, like I said, a nice solid surface. So they are good quality of material. I see a stainless steel dishwasher there. Oh, a gas range stove. Love, love, love cooking on gas. I myself have an electric cooktop and it's not quite as nice as cooking on gas. Gas just heats up a whole lot faster. All right, another view of the kitchen, stainless steel refrigerator as well. Nice and big and open, but you have this uh, kitchen island in the middle, which is great if you're cooking um, and you want to set some dishes over here or some, uh, or if you're cleaning up over here. You know, it's a good area to transition you know, the, the dishes or the plates from the stove to the kitchen island over here to the sink. So it's a pretty smart setup. And I see there's a little uh, desk area over here as well. All right, here you have the breakfast area, um, you know, where most people are probably going to eat their meals. Holy smokes, look at this. Wow. Wow, wow. I love this. Um, you've got the, the arch ceiling, the cathedral ceiling on the, the humongous screen porch. This is absolutely beautiful. Looks like they have a hot tub out here as well. Um, now the hot tub may or may not convey uh, with the property. And then you see out here, they've got a nice looking yard. Can't wait to see more pictures of the yard. 
Oh man, they've got okay, so they've got uh looks like a koi pond over here, possibly. At least some sort of water feature. Lots of rocks. They've got paved patio going out into what looks like a pretty good sized backyard. Pergola over here over the grill area. Yeah, this is really nice. Uh, this screen porch. That is that is a selling feature right there. Yep, here's that water feature again. Nice aerial view. Good job on the uh, on the drone shot there, Joe. Oh, and look at this. The pergola has a roof over it, so that's very important if you're using it to grill, so you can go out there and still grill when it rains. Um, they've got a couple of, um, this looks like bar tops, I guess, right here. You can saddle up to the bar right here, so um, that's that's very cool. Oh, they got a fire pit, too. I'm sorry, Joe. Hey, in uh, a shed? I might be making an offer on this house. Man, this sucker is nice. All right, here's the primary bedroom right here. Tray ceiling, as you can see. And going into the primary bath, so you got a, a soaking tub and a stand-up shower. You've got dual sink vanities here. This looks like a bonus room right here. You could call it a you could technically call this a bedroom because it does have the the closets right here and the windows and the door. They're using it as a as a bonus room, a second den, likely on the second floor. This obviously you can tell is on the second floor. So this is a secondary bedroom. Looks like a pretty good sized room. I like how everything, well, I was going to say, I like how everything is pretty neutrally painted, agreeable gray. But then we get, obviously, into the little girl's room, and this is cute. You've got the pink walls. you got the pink ceiling fan. Um, this probably just peels right off, I would guess. Um, but, hey, you know what? This could be perfect if you want to, if you got a little girl you want to move in here. Or if not, you could always paint it and, and make a few changes right there. Uh, we got a purple room right here. So cool. These must be really cool parents letting their letting their daughters uh, paint how they want to uh, or their children paint however they want to in the room. All right. So here is a, a bathroom with shit with a dual vanity. This is interesting. You usually don't see a vanity that's curved like this. So this must have been uh, custom made to fit the shape of that room. Here you've got an office. I'm assuming that might be another um, bedroom technically. But they're using that as an office. I can't tell if it has a, a closet or not. And hey, man, look at it. I was right. I told you. I told you I could tell. Three uh, three car garage, side load garage. Um, it is brick front and siding. It looks like gray vinyl siding on the side. And I can tell this has an architectural shingle roof. Um, you can tell because of the overlap of the shingles. Now, architectural shingle roofs are generally... Um, warranted for about 25 years of life uh, which is longer than your standard composite three tab shingle roof so one of the things i always do when i go out and, and show a home i'm always looking up at the roof to see if there's any visible damage that i can see um, from the street so there is a little bit of deflection and, and some granular loss here you can tell by the by the change in the color um, but that doesn't mean anything as far as the the condition of the roof really and that's why you have home inspections uh, whenever you get a home, you have someone inspect the, the house. And then if there is a concern about air condition, electrical, roofing, structural, anything like that, then we take it a step further and we get the real experts out there to take a look. Okay, cool. Here we go. Now we're going to look at the, uh, and this is in the reserve subdivision, by the way. Uh, now we're going to take a look at the clubhouse, the pool clubhouse, the pool, playground, and this beautiful tree. Okay. Another overhead shot. This is just a, and there's a nighttime shot as well. That's, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Another overhead so you can see the whole property. Look at this. Okay. That explains why it's such a large lot too on the side. It is at the end of the cul-de-sac. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful property. All right. So check that out. So that is uh wait, 11 015 King George Lane in Waxhaw, North Carolina. Um, it is being offered, it's new to the market, it's being offered for seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. If you're interested in this property or any other property in Waxhaw, uh any land, South Charlotte, uh Fort Mill, any of those areas, I would love, love, love to help you. I work personally with buyers um in North and South Carolina from about Charlotte down into uh, Union County in South Carolina as well. 
Um, my company helps people all over the place. So if you're looking to buy a house um, in my area, or if you're looking to buy a place anywhere in the Charlotte region, let me know. I can hook you up. We even have agents in Columbia, South Carolina. So give me a call, 704-313-8514. I hope you like this video. I hope you love this home as much as I did. And we'll see you on a future video. Take care.